Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramph. That was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what tune was that? That was a song called Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho. Nice, I like it. And that'll tie in later, right? It'll tie in, yeah. Yeah, so very we have cool. a great show for you guys today. We have a, a very nice uh, Tales from the Weekend. We have some art stuff to show you guys. We have some new programming, and of course, we have some weather. So let's start we off with sure a little do. bit of uh, weather. So um, if you if uh, you were around Missoula last night, which I hope you were, um, <laughs> it was kind of smoky outside. It, things were kind of getting a little smoky. Maybe it's a little better today. It's not too bad, but it's supposed to get really hot today. So look out. Um, it's going to be a high of 92 degrees outside. Currently, is four. So uh, enjoy this cool morning t um, temperatures as long as you can because it's going to get much hotter for the most of this week. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of glad that it's happening this part of this week rather than happening during the River City Roots Festival. Me too, me too. Uh, our River City Roots Fest was smoke free, and it was awesome. But if you guys haven't looked outside this morning already, there is a bunch of smoke. Yeah, yeah, very smoky. So I don't know where it's coming from, uh, but it looks to be pretty close. It's very thick. Yep. And yeah. another big item in the news is that the Orange Street is going to be doing an interchange project. And what that basically is, is that they're going to be putting a roundabout in um, on Orange Street. So uh, there's a nice little picture of this little map, and it kind of gives you a very... Um, interesting look on what you guys can be expecting in terms of the changes in roads. As you can see, my mouse is going to be circling around this thing, and that's where the roundabout's going to be, and they want to probably extend the road just a little more, because they have enough grassland where they can actually accomplish this without um, mm -hmm. um, molesting any other traffic. Yep, they totally can. That's going to be great. I live on the north side, and I have to go over that intersection all the time, and it's the worst intersection in Missoula. It's terrible, and you can hardly get across it, and it's dangerous. And if you're interested in um, putting in your two cents about this, uh, the, there's the public hearing at the Missoula County Courthouse um, this Wednesday, the 31st at 5.30 p.m., and it's going to be in, I say, room uh, B14. And of course, the cons it consists of reconstruction, including grading, gravel, overlay seals. So it's it's basically reinventing the way Orange Street is, it, mm -hmm. and it's it's just below the uh, overpass of I ninety. So. And does it say when it's going to start construction? Well, it looks like it's just a public informational meeting, so I doubt they're going to be uh, doing this anytime soon. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe in like a year, it'll be done, started. I'm not sure. Something. Yeah, I mean, it says that they want to do this. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure it might even start uh, even this year. Who knows? Yeah. But, it, you know, it's just public hearing. Uh, well, actually, it's not even public hearing. It's a public informational meeting, which, so, which means they're going to do it because a public hearing is where you can put input, and a public information means more like where they're just going to talk at you for an hour or so about it. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Oh, and, city council. Yeah, city. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if it's city council. It, I mean, it's just a public information I meeting. think it's a great idea. There I'm really no happy. There's no city council meeting tonight because it's no, the fifth, fifth Monday one. of the Monday, mm -hmm. and they won't be back next week because it's Labor Day. And yeah. we won't be back next Monday because it's Labor Day. It's true. Um, we do have a, a two art clips that will actually expire at the end of this week. No! Uh, Rick gave me a brand new art clip, and it's only going to expire on uh, first Friday oh so it's like okay well we might as well show it as, as long as we can because yeah. we'll only be able to show one more uh, one last time mm -hmm. which I'm gonna emphasize at this point and then we'll show the next uh, clip that we'll only be able to show a couple times this yeah. week <laughs> um, which is this is the one that ends tomorrow and this is a vermin and this is the one that's happening at the clay studio
Hey, and we're back. And of course, um, uh, that was more of an art clip. But of course, uh, if you haven't already heard, these last couple weeks or last couple days, um, the uh, power traffic boxes have been being have been painted. Oh, how are, they cool. And or and or are being painted nice. and are in the process of being completed. And so I went out there and I got a couple uh, shots of some of this stuff with some of the artists. Some of oh, them cool. already done. Um, others are still working on it, but of course here is kind of a, like, a little taste of what uh, some of the new power boxes are, which is just off of reserve. And then, of course, nice. you can check all that out if you go driving around Missoula. I, birds must have been the theme for this year because all the people, people did birds. Or the people who chose the uh, the bids all like birds. All like birds. Yeah. I liked uh, that pink one with all the birds on it. That mm -hmm. was pretty cool. Those are neat. I'm glad that Missoula does that. That's uh, off Door and uh, Brook Street. Cool. So if you, it's that weird new light that they put into so people can go into Coles and all that stuff. So yep. that, that's, that, that's actually probably one of the newest uh, traffic boxes that just got implemented. Cool. So. It's it's wonderful that Missoula does that. I think it's nice to see artwork on our streets, um, mm -hmm. to, even if it's weird traffic boxes. Yep. And this Friday at the Dana Gallery, and they're going to be, uh, basically, you get a chance to meet the artists who do oh, the nice. traffic boxes. Current and past ones, I believe. I think they invited all the uh, past artists to do this Sweet. and whatnot. Um, we do have some new programming I do want to um, get for you guys. Uh, we have um, some footage from the Celtic Festival. So the Celtic Festival will be, be <laughs> going on AIMCAT tonight. Um, we have America's uh, Super Pageant, which is a super pageant put on by uh, organizations that believe in bicycle, I mean not bicycle, but uh, um, uh, seat belt safety. Mm. And then the last one is uh, International Choir Festival. So nice. each week we're going to have a new International Choir Festival, and I believe starting September we'll be having, that will be replaced with a brand new uh, season of the Missoula Summer City Band. So uh, just look out for that stuff, and when we come back we'll have events with with Noel and to know what's going on in the next couple days. This is a very stressful weekend with a full schedule, as you heard earlier, and really long days. Keeping a smile on your face and a positive attitude can be difficult. But for this contestant, she did it with ease. This year, our Miss Congeniality Award goes Hi guys, we are back and I've got things to do in your community for today and tomorrow. Usually on Mondays there isn't much going on, so I'll just read you guys everything that I saw happening today. Most of it is just like regular things that are happening on Mondays in Missoula. Uh, the first thing though is at 11.30 a.m. over the Top Hat Lounge, this is called Mama Load em Up, First Day of School Party for Parents. So <clears throat> what they're going to do is it's pretty much an, it's a lunch hour and they have free champagne that any, for anyone that buys lunch. It's just a celebration for parents uh, to kick their kids back off to school. So the kids are in school, parents are not. Um, yeah, and so it's just gonna be talking about another summer in the books, another milestone, another mama load them up. 
yeah. So you just go and uh, celebrate that your kids are back to school. That's cute. That's nice. Yeah, at the top app. Uh, Moscow Monday is at Montgomery Distillery at noon. A dollar from each cocktail sold goes back to a different nonprofit from the Missoula, Montana area. Bridge Group is at the Missoula Senior Center at 1 o'clock. This is the Beginner's Brush Up Group. And then we have Duplicate Bridge Group over at Garden City Duplicate Bridge Club. And um, <clears throat> that's you should be at Stockyard Road. It's at 1 o'clock. But if you want to find out more information about them, you can just go to MissoulaBridge.org. There's a little website right there in all caps. Yeah, so just go to there. You can find out more information about the Duplicate Bridge Club. I, I don't know much. Over at the Missoula Public Library, there's computer electronics in their makerspace starting at 3 p.m. You can come in and work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. Over at the Public Library, they've got, oh no, not at the Public Library. This is at Big Sky High School in their library. Their hours are changing for the academic year. So their library will be open from 3.30 to 7.30 um, now, starting now, starting today. <laughs> Wordplay is at the base of the Warehouse Mall at 4 o'clock. This is word games, poetic exploration, free writing, and expansion. And then over at the Top Hat Lounge is Raising the Dead. These are the live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Service Industry Night is at Plonk. If you uh, work in the service industry, you can tell them that, and they'll give you an exclusive menu on deals and appetizers. Open Mic Night is at Imagination Brewing Company at 6 o'clock. Excel class is at the Missoula Public Library at 6 o'clock. Um, so these are people that want to use Microsoft Excel but don't know how to use it. Topics include entering data and formulas. Uh, the class uh, kind of assumes that the student has some experience with Windows and using a mouse. So you have to like kind of know how to use a computer. But registration is required by calling 721-2665. <laughs> And then my last event for Monday, like I said, you guys, Monday was super short. Not too much going on today. Uh, it is the first day of school, though. So over at the Red, Word, Red Bird Wine Bar, Ovando will be playing with Bethany Joyce and Nate Hedgie. That'll be at 7. Uh, but yeah, you guys, today is the first day of classes back at the University of Montana, also back at all the schools. And I don't have to go back to school. Today is the first day of my life I don't have to go back, and I'm really happy. So on that, we're switching over to Musical Notes with ASAP Out and I. Well, before I start, I just want to say it's been two years this month since you guys first invited me to appear on this program. So I didn't want to acknowledge that in case there's trivia buffs that remember. And I'm wearing the exact same outfit. Nice. That's awesome, Asaf. I love that you were able to remember that. Oh, yeah. I, well, I have it chronicle mentioned here. So just wanted to start off that way. Nice. Also, I'm dedicating this story to you today. Thanks to you, Noel. Anyway... <laughs> Olympic champion Scottish athlete Eric Little, often called the Flying Scotsman, who ran in the 1924 Paris Summer Olympics, once said, God made me fast, and when I run, I feel his pleasure. Our guest on today's musical notes, she can relate to that in a small way, once said, I sing God's music because it makes me feel free. It gives me hope. With the blues, when you finish singing that, you still have the blues. <laughs> this story of our guest, thanks to Noel, referred to as the queen of gospel, known to the world as Mahalia Jackson, and there she is on the screen. And before I finish this story, yours truly, myself, and the queen, we have one thing in common. We were both born on October 26. Nice. So... I can at least share that with the queen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about her for a second, and then we'll show that video clip. Mahalia Jackson, born October 26, 1911, was an American gospel singer possessing a powerful contralto voice. Often referred to as the queen of gospel, she became one of the most influential gospel singers in the world, the greatest gospel singer in the world heralded internationally as a singer by critics and fans alike, and also a civil rights activist. Entertainer Harry Belafonte has once called her the single most powerful black woman in the United States. She has recorded 30 albums during her career, 45 RP records, including um, a million sellers, all million sellers, and that's something. Mm -hmm. And now let's go to this clip, and while it's playing, I'll say some more things about her. Now you won't be able to hear it, but she's on the Nat King Cole 
show being introduced and she is singing a song called Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho <laughs> which was the song I played at the beginning of course hers is a little bit more intense as you can look at her facial expressions and there's a band there in the background playing this lady um, she has received honors up to the ears just quickly while that's running a few get my notes here Oh, here it is right here. She has, um, oh my goodness. I got my notes all mixed up here. <laughs> it's Monday, it's okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never, never on a Monday. Well, all right, I'll have to improvise my way. Anyway, um, her music has widely influenced the entire world. Christian radio stations like Family Radio in California have played her music over the years. She has a voice like no one in the century or in the millennium, some people have said about this lady here. The prolific gospel composers of the 20th century have held this woman, and um, she has sung songs like Go Tell It on the Mountain, um, just all the other gospel songs that your audience can look up here. She has filled stadiums, as much as 6,000 people at one time to hear her in concert. That's how powerful this lady was and influential she was. She even appeared on the Muppet Show of all shows <laughs> <laughs> and did Miss Piggy proud. But, and there she is on the stamp there. She's uh, made the stamp. And I'm sorry I don't have all the notes like I had intended, but she has appeared in Carnegie Hall, um, just Washington, just done concerts for Dr. Martin Luther King and all the other organizations of the past. So your audience can look her up here, Mahalia Jackson. They can look up all of her awards that she's won throughout her lifetime. And to this day, she has that influence. We lost her in 1972 at the age of 60, and she left the world some great gospel music. Nice. And I'll stop on that note. Nice. Thanks, Asaph. Thank you very much, Asaph. Yeah, she did. Asaf and I saw her on the arts channel that MCAT streams sometime on Friday. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. where we got the inspiration book. Yeah. But we have an art clip. Yep. So this is, tell us about this, Scott. This is an art clip called uh, Freedom, um, and it's going to be at the Zach until this Friday. Cool. So it'll be okay. here, there for First Friday, so it's a good opportunity to go there for First Friday. But then after that, it's going to change. So you only get a week to check it out, and I'm sorry I couldn't bring you this sooner. I just got it over the weekend, so right. um, so you guys can check it out. We'll show it on Wednesday and Friday, and then that's it. No more. <laughs> We're cutting you off, because that's as long as you get to actually see it live at the Zach. So without further ado and further talking through my mouth, here is the video. We are back. I've got some events going on on Tuesday. So, all right. 
Starting at 11 a.m. over in Frenchtown Pond State Park, they've got their paddleboard lessons. This is from 11 to 12.30 and 1 to 2.30, $45. You just show up and they provide all the equipment and the lesson. At the Roxy Theater, they've got a movie uh, at 11 a.m. called Ponyo. Um, it's about a goldfish princess who ha goes on a forbidden excursion to the surface world, and she meets a human boy, um, and she wants to become a human, but her desire, and in the process of becoming a human, spills a collection of magical elixirs that endanger the human boy's village. Sweet. Beanbag tosses at the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. And then over in the Alps boardroom in the uh, Florence building, they've got their Shoot in the Bull Toastmasters. It starts at noon. This is a Toastmasters club where you can improve your public speaking, improve your confidence, and leadership skills. Yoga Warriors is at the Learning Center at Red Willow at 4 o'clock. This is a yoga program designed for veterans and their caregivers to help with PTSD, sleeping problems, and anxiety. We've got our Tuesday night farmer's market. Those are at the Red X's. It starts at 5.30. That will end in a pretty soon. So get on that. And then we have our yoga in the parks put on by Missoula Parks and Rec. That starts at 6. This week will be at Silver Park. You can just provide your... You have to bring your own yoga mat and your blocks and everything, but they'll just provide uh, the um, instruction. Yeah. Picking circles at the Top Hat Lounge at 6 o'clock on Tuesday night. It's from 6 to 8 every Tuesday for bluegrass-oriented musicians. There's a community creative writing workshop at 6 o'clock at the Missoula Public Library in their makerspace from 6 to 7.30. At the Good Food Store, they've got a Flavors of the World cooking class. They're going to be making a quick curries. It starts at 6.30 tomorrow. It costs is only $35. Theo, uh, the chef and owner of Masala, will come and teach you guys all how to make quick curries. So it'll be like good curry. It'll be fast, but without uh, cutting any corners. So how do you do that? Who knows? System Check is at the Missoula Public Library at 6.30. This is the official gamers club for ages 19 and under. They've got board games, video games, card games. Then over at the Yoga Fitness Center, they've got a new Hatha Yoga class. It starts at 7 o'clock. Um, so it's every Tuesday and Thursday from 7 to 8.15. And Hatha Yoga is a, help, is a slower moving class designed to relieve stress and tension in the body and mind and promote peaceful sleep. Yeah, so it's $10 drop-in and students rate it. It's only 8 bucks. And then my two other events for tomorrow evening is an African dance class at the Missoula Senior Center at 7 o'clock. It's $10 per class, so $35 for four classes. And then ULA is at the Barn Movement Studio at 7. So a couple things to get you moving and grooving tomorrow evening. It sounds like it's going to be a great couple days. It really will, yeah. Nice and chill, but at the same time, you know, you got to beat the heat and you got to learn to... Um, yeah. Beat the heat, do some yoga. Yeah. So as always, you guys, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana webpage, the Independent or the Missoulian for more events in your community. I always check out MissoulaEvents.net. That's yep. usually where I get mine from. Yep, but if you want to learn more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can also like us on our Facebook page. You can also uh, follow us on Twitter. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook and to find out more information, you can just check us out on MCAT.org. But yep. we're switching gears now. We've got Tales from the Weekend. Yes, it's time for Tales from the Weekend. Well, so this one is the theme of, uh, okay, well, I don't really need to tell you the theme. <laughs> the, the title of this um, story is called Famous Francis. Famous Francis is one of those fabulous people in town. Um, whatever he says becomes a catchphrase, a meme, you name it. Uh, whoever he's with is his one and only true love until he meets the next true love. <laughs> Francis is celebrating his birthday this month. Um, no one really knows when it is because he celebrates his birthday the whole month leading up to a giant party on the last weekend of his birth month. Uh, so Francis has friends he's collected over the past 10 years since moving here. Uh, the story begins um, with a kickoff to the birthday party month. At the usual scenes in the usual downtown areas, uh, people are um, buying him birthday shots and playing his music, which, uh, uh, you know, coincidentally is the top 40. Um, his style is classy, yet uh, slick with a color theme each night. Tonight's uh, famous Francis is wearing white 
with little black dots on his shirt with a pink tie, blazer with pink trim, and classy uh, mofo written on his hat, glittered <laughs> in pink. Um, <laughs> when people are not distracted by his brightly colored pink pants, they would notice the rest of this outfit. Um, to, uh, to his left, number one, Buddy Ricky, uh, and his second buddy, Michelle. He likes to keep friends on either side of the gender spectrum, and yet defines himself as his own unique gender, which is confusing everyone who's anyone claimed to be this. So, I don't know, there's no actually word for it, he just, whatever. <laughs> he's, he's just kind of like, whatever he needs to be at that particular time. So, each place they roll up, um, and it has familiar faces from old veterans at the VFW bars, uh, to loud clubs. These places uh, were club, and I mean club. If you were, if you could hear each other, uh, you were in the right, if you couldn't hear each other, you were in the right place. That's what a club is. <laughs> uh, and why would you want to hear anyone anyways? Whatever. <laughs> Uh, with the right music and the right dance troupe, you made your way through the crowds like they weren't even there. Um, th as the first weekend came to a close, famous Francis broke up with his recent partner in hopes of catching a new one for his birthday month. Um, the next couple days leading up to the second weekend w were rough for a couple of his friends, for a couple of his groups of friends, because you know they had other jobs and they had rent to pay. Francis would give them the hookups to what they needed, whether it be part enhancers or magical fluid that would loosen up even the most uptight Scott Ramp. <laughs> Needless to say, Francis uh, never had to work a day in his life. With one party bleeding into the next one, it seemed only sleep could stop famous Francis. The second week which can be off the hook with some of his friends visiting from smaller towns just to party with Francis during his birth month. I can't say birthday because he doesn't have a birthday. He has <laughs> a birth whole month. month. Okay, and a DJ coming all the way from Seattle to do the show. It had seemed like this weekend was going to be crazy. Uh, Francis got VIP tickets to go to the show, faux show. Um, that's what the call, show is called, it's faux show. Um, <laughs> Francis always had a way of getting into places, whether it be large groups of people um, down to fill the dance floor or to give volume to a uh, already electric environment. Mm -hmm. The DJ was spinning some retro vinyl. It, yeah, like true retro vinyl. They weren't just like, you know, hooking an iPod to a nice. system. So they were like legit. So nice. they were doing that. Everyone's having a good time. And um, the ability. Okay, so. Da -da -da. Francis uh, Flo. Okay, so. Da -da -da. Fresh new beat, get down. While Francis was dancing with Michelle and Ricky, he noticed someone giving him. A look from across the bar like this or I don't know that's you know the look mm-hmm mm-hmm okay. yeah it's... yeah across the dance floor so anyways <laughs> Francis is like flowed through the crowd like nobody was there right towards the person the building was filled with so much noise that they could only that the only thing that Francis could hear was Jamie Jamie and Francis danced the rest of the night and exchanged numbers Francis was excited to meet someone new since breaking it off with his ex <laughs> the next week was pretty slow uh, for Francis because he avoided most of his friends while he was hanging out with Jamie and all that stuff. Jamie uh, had just moved into town, had a nice job with the city, and Francis was looking to start something special with Jamie for as long as he kind of felt like he was, say, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> okay, well, let's slow things down just a little bit. Let's talk a little bit more about Ricky and Michelle. So as the two uh, uh, France, uh, Francis's generals in the party army, uh, Ricky has been strong friends with um, Francis at the beginning of, hey, I like your style, and don't worry, I got your back. From the very beginning to the very uh, mm -hmm. current. Okay, Michelle is a very impulsive type who talks Francis up where whenever she gets the chance. Um, a little rougher around the edges, but more openly outspoken about how loyal she is while well, she's um, single, of course. Um, Francis has gone through uh, many new girl BFFs uh, throughout the year. Every year they seem to disappear between matching his first weekend with the except. Oh, wait, wait. Disappear between boyfriends and some with girlfriends. So, if you know, you as a girl, uh, girlfriend BFF, and then once they get in a relationship, they usually just like up and disappear completely. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, it's the third weekend. And things are getting a little, uh, you know, chiller. It's all about, um, um, you know, now, now it's Jamie and Francis are just hanging out, just enjoying their time together. It's a chill weekend. It's more like one of those kind of like those bars where you just got like chilling. And, um, you know, whatever. It's just super chill. Everything's just super chill. Super chill. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. And of course, they uh, they go. It's all about the after party. Mm. It's like they all chill out. They like gather up and they start doing like after party. But of course, uh, after taking um, okay, so okay, 
I'll go back to script. I kind of went off script. Okay. <laughs> the sunrise indicates the party with the baker's dozen or more uh, capacity of Francis's home are over. Things are mess inside of Francis's place, but he knew uh, plastic cups and wine glasses would be good. So it's all plastic, so nothing breaks. Uh, after taking out the trash and people uh, from his place, Francis was able to send a, uh, a lazy Sunday with Jamie. It had seemed that things are going great, perhaps too good. Ricky and Michelle had an argument the night before about um, they wanted to surprise famous Francis on this or that. The, this argument turned into heated and Michelle drove off when she shouldn't have drove off. Michelle had blew up Francis's phone saying that she was in jail. So she got thrown into jail for DUI and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So Francis told Ricky to help bail her, bail her out. Ricky refused because, you know, they hate each other for, for now or whatever. And told Francis to do it himself. Francis reluctantly agreed to get Michelle out of prison. But right after he hung out with Jamie, he wanted to hang out with Jamie instead and like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And like Jamie's like, are you serious? You're not, you're not gonna, gonna like help your you're not gonna friend. help your friend. Like you know, she's in jail. You're not gonna help her. And and he's like, okay, don't worry about it. And like Francis actually like convinced Jamie that um you like oh you can only bail him out on the weekdays. Like um and like Jamie knew better, but he's just like oh okay. If it's a weekend, you can't bail them out till Monday. Really? Yeah, you can't. But Jamie. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last weekend was gearing up, and Francis did decide to go uh, out with an all-white blacklight party, and uh, uh, luckily, blacklights were on sale at one of the local gimmick shops. Nice. Um, Jamie and Francis were hanging out the mall when Francis's ex happened upon them. <laughs> what the hell is this? The ex said. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, beautiful. Beautiful day, isn't it? Said Francis, like they were old chums. Um, who is this slut? <laughs> the ex replied. Classic. Francis spoke in the more friendly manner. Oh, just hanging out with Jamie, my new honey boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie chuckled like um, um, Noel just did. Yep. And they, they held hands. Uh, Francis' ex looked pissed, but uh, composed themselves. Okay, Jamie, it's really nice to meet you. I see you and famous, famous Francis have something going on, so I'll just be on my way. Uh... Um, and then, of course, uh, um, Famous Francis is like, you come to my party, it's going to be crazy. We got black lights, and it's all white themed. So Francis said with, uh, you know, with a grin, he's just like, huh, I know more than you. He's like, I'm so <laughs> special and all that stuff. So it was, okay, it was the night of nights. It was the very last week of night. It was like all the big, like all the stuff that was coming down to, all the build up, all the story was coming down to this whole awesome party. Everyone was wearing white. The black lights were lit up, and the place... And glitter was distributed from old soap dispensers. Sweet. So you just, That's you know, like cool. glitter and just throw it at people. It's like That's glitter awesome. party. That sounds fun. Yeah. This place had no reason not to shine. Everybody was dancing and having a good old time. Ricky and Michelle were grinding on some of their friends and new relationships that were being formed. It was safe to say that this party was uh, a great way to end a perfect month with them best friends. The GJ was hopping. The people were drinking drinks. The music only cut out to his famous Francis, the biggest birthday song in town. <laughs> um, time passed and people began to drop out as drinks be, uh, became rare and energy was an all-time low um of course everyone's kind of like um, partying the whole week leading up to this thing so it's kind of hard not to like not to like keep on partying so mm -hmm. anyways um da -da -da, uh, francis and jamie were chilling out with some old uh um let's see what what's we're that just chilling on some old couches couches that's sorry that's okay. I can't read my own, um, <laughs> um, my own tales from the weekend. But so they, I can they bought for the party, and of course they had a bunch <laughs> of old couches all kind of spat out through the area just for people to like lay it down and chill and pass out. Um, and then Jamie, um, and then of course uh, um, Francis was saying how much Jamie meant to him. He's like, I love you so much, Jamie, you're the man. <laughs> and then it was like, Jamie just like got up and just decided to leave. And like Francis tried to stop Jamie from leaving because, uh, you know, Jamie wasn't having it. Um, they managed to get outside and Francis was wondering why he was being ditched for. Um, Jamie got frustrated and he's like, this isn't fun for me. And he's like, what do you mean? Um, Francis uh, said defensively. Jamie took a breath. When I met you two weeks ago, I thought you were fun. I didn't know that I'd be having fun every night. <laughs> What's wrong with having fun? Replied Francis. I just can't keep up with you. And I can't keep doing this birth month or some other kind of related month forever. But I just can't, Jamie explained. Um, Francis began to get angry and just walked back inside, inside, leaving Jamie alone. Francis walked inside and saw his friends having a great time while he was just standing there being rejected by his latest true love. 
<laughs> and that was the end of that story. Of course, it's a little longer than most of my other stories have been, but this kind of like uh, it was good. Culminates. I like that. And so, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that you can have all the fun you want as long as you can. Some people can't keep up, and others are there just to slow you down. But you should never define yourself by how big your parties are. You exactly. Go to. Or else, like I feel like another moral of the story could be: uh, it's always good to have those quiet nights. Like those quiet nights and slow nights are really what uh, give your bigger <laughs> nights more fun. <laughs> Yeah, nice, Scott. I like that. That was good. Yep. Good tales from the weekend. Yep. It's usually like, always, oh, it has to be tragic. It's like, no, it's, you know, it's a good time, you know, whatever. You know, like, he's, yeah. He'd rather just have a good time than, you know, worry about one person's opinion of him. Mm-hmm. That's very true. I love these tales from the weekend. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a little long. I'm sorry it about was, that. It was. It was long. I, 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 I was just like, I had to get it, like, I, I had to get out of my head. But, of course, I skipped a lot of stuff because I was trying to, like, just kind of get through it. But it ended up probably being longer than <laughs> if I would have actually, you know, stayed a script. And, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so, are you going to put any of your Tales of the Weekend online for people to read? Um, no. Probably not. I explain it a lot better than it's actually written. Because yeah. when, I, when I look at it, it's like, is that correct grammar? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Scott, sometimes it's not, but it's totally okay. <laughs> he and I just, just stutter our way. Yeah, we just stutter our way through our morning show every day. <laughs> well, like most of my early like Tales from the Weekend are all about like inanimate objects <laughs> perspective. Uh, Nancy the Cake. She's a good cake. Yeah, she's a good cake. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's all I have. Um, school starts today, like I said, and I don't have to go back. I'm really happy about this. Yeah. I'm thinking of all the things I could do without with my day that doesn't involve school. Yeah. It's pretty uh, cool. This, uh, this Any week announcements is, for the week? Uh, this week we're doing another, okay, last um, Friday was a live stream oh. of the uh, Sentinel High School Sports versus the Billings Senior, uh, senior uh, Bronx. How was that? And of course, the you know, Bronx totally destroyed Sentinel. Uh, even though, like, even the commentator was just like, well, you know, they're probably going to be destroyed because, you know, Billings is, like, the the favorite for state champions. Oh, are they the best in the and state? And they were saying that most of their team actually came back from last year. So, oh. you know, they were already such a great team last year, and then most of them are basically back this year. They beat them, like, it was, like, 37 to, like, I don't even know. I was, like, I was kind of, like, checked out by the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, I bet you it's were. Kind of, when, it, when you watch a blowout, you really don't, you can't really yeah, watch the whole no, thing. There's no, yeah, you get bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they were, they didn't lose as bad as, as they lost the last year, which is 40 to 3, and I believe it was like 37 to like 13. Nice, nice. Sweet. Well, yeah, it was a nice so, game, and this Friday is another game. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be at 7 p.m. We're gonna live, put it live on MCAT channel 189. So, and of course, we'll put it all on the internet and stuff like that. And we had some issues with it on Facebook when we tried oh, to put it on you? Facebook because it was like, oh, it's on there for like half a minute, and then it's not on there for mm -hmm. any time. So it kept on cutting out and back and forth. But it was very. But I re-uploaded it, and you can check it out on MCAT's YouTube channel. Okay. So MCAT has a YouTube channel. It's MCAT Television. So you can guys can subscribe to us there and can watch all your MCAT related videos from there and of course you can um, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel Wake Up Missoula as well. Yes. I never really like promote our YouTube channel as much as I probably should. We have it. Yeah. There is one. You yep. can check it out. But we but post all our videos online. Online you know, anyway as, as, as on everywhere. all the social media. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yep. So nice. uh, do you got any big plans for the week guys? I mean I think that I don't know. I'm just gonna like enjoy the week without having to go back to school and kind of figure out life not in college. Nope. Yeah, it's very interesting. This is a new week for me. This is a new chapter in my life. Yep. And I'm excited. You're just gonna sit out um, on, on a bench in front of the school and it's like, hey. Nah. <laughs> 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 it's just like one I'm of I'm gonna drink whiskey out of a brown paper bag. Yeah. <laughs> and yell at people. Yeah, that's my plan today. Nice. Yeah, it sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does actually sound really fun. <laughs> No, that's You don't even have to have anything in the can. It just no, has to be like a bottle and just have, Yeah, and yeah I can have juice in there and I can just be like, <laughs> Man, what are you doing here? It's like, oh, it's tobacco free, right? Tobacco free. I'm still following the rules. Drinking juice. Yep. That's pretty much it. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have anything else going on. Yeah. Just, we, are we, uh, I don't know. We're just trying to banter. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're just, just like, we're just like <laughs> hanging out and just like doing whatever. Just hanging out. Yep. So, um, ASAP, okay. are you doing anything? Not All right. No. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, I guess this is the end of our show. This is the end of our show. Too much we're we're taking our time to end we the really show. We really are. So, um, it's just over now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp. And for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. Here's ASAP Adonai, and we'll see you guys Wednesday.